Hey, what's up guys? Brian here. Hope you guys are doing well. Excited about having another shop tour series for you guys today. This one with my friend Alex Grugan with Faith Lawn and Property Services. Alex is over here in South Lyon, Michigan, and he's got a pretty unique story about growing to $2.2 million in revenue in 2023 and acquiring about six businesses along the way the last six or seven years. He's got about two decades in the industry and it just shows that he's such a great guy, very uh, humble dude, but he's got a just a strong work ethic and a commitment to getting the job done. So you guys are gonna see this whole shop tour uh, available. Uh, also is the podcast that we did with Alex telling his story. And I really invite you guys to check it out. Really quick, wanna say a big thank you to Equipment Defender, Steel, Cujo Yardware, and Yardbook for bringing this content to you guys. A little bit more on Equipment Defender here in just a quick minute. But if you guys are enjoying the shop tour series, I invite you guys to check out the rest of the playlist by the time this is done. And I also invite you guys to hit the thumbs up on the video. Let the sponsors know that you guys appreciate them and maybe leave an encouraging word for Alex down in the comments down below by the time that we're done. All right, without further ado, let's kick it over to Alex Grugan with Faith Lawn and Property Services over here in South Line, Michigan. Let's check it out. All right, guys, Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. We're hopping right out into it. Super excited about this. I don't know if you guys remember this familiar face. What hey, up, YouTube? What up, bud? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, man. We've got Alex Grugan here with Faith Lawn and Property. Yes, sir. And before that, it was Holiday Christmas Lights Express. Holiday Light Express or Holiday Light Service. We go by a lot of names. There you go, man. There you go. Love doing the shop tours. Thanks for opening up again. Um, we did yours in November, December, and you taught all things Christmas lights. Yep. When we were zipping around here, it had been a couple of years since I got to see your physical setup. It's been a while. Yeah, and I'm like, holy cow, dude, things have blown up like crazy. You guys can see uh, all the rigs and the trucks and the crews. The guys are just literally leaving and uh, things are going good. It's been it's been a blessing. It really has been. <laughs> That's awesome, so. man. Well, uh, when we were uh, connecting in the fall, you said, hey, you're still doing those shop tours. I said, yeah, bro. And you yeah. said, can I volunteer? I love to show what we got going on because um, business has been pretty good. You're super humble about it. Um, but it's been up, up, up and a lot of hard work and a struggle victory story, but you guys are getting back on top. It's been it's been crazy. You'll have to check out the podcast. I want to tell my whole story on it. So I'm down. I'm down. Absolutely. All right. So let's do this. Uh, I'm going to give it to you. We'll take it away. We're probably going to do a little horseshoe here um, and end with the mow rigs and setups because you guys just got a bunch of new mowers. You got a bunch of new mowers and they're nice and shiny for now. <laughs> for now, right? So. Hopefully we're all out there next week doing cleanups and mulch. Yeah, we started on Monday. So all right. Rocking let's, and rolling. Already off to the races. All right. So uh, let's do this really quick. Maybe uh, just tell me your, your business, your name, and then uh, we'll talk about the shop sure. and we'll get into so, it. So Alex, with Faith Lawn Property Maintenance. Uh, restarted the business in 2018 uh, by buying out a buddy. And uh, just me and one of my buddies the first year. Second year we doubled, third year we doubled, and this year we almost doubled again. Wow. So uh, this year will be right around uh, 300 mowing accounts, a uh, hardscaping crew, and a landscape maintenance crew. Okay, cool. So enough to keep you a little bit busy. So where are we at here with the uh, the storage and uh, the, the property that you guys have all sure. your equipment at? So right now we rent uh, the first building here and the second building. Okay. So we're sitting right around 7,000 square feet of shop space. So this first building is our main shop where most of our day-to-day -day activities take place. The other building mainly just cold storage. Okay. Um, so in here we'll have the three lawn crews parked across the front, landscape crew parked in the back. Um, and it's pretty much it, just a giant warehouse. Um, along the sidewall here, back in the corner, we have where all the guys punch in, punch out, have a fridge they can keep their drinks cold. Um, our two cycle wall is a mess. Uh, <laughs> we haven't really gone through and done our two cycle inventory yet. Um, but next week we'll be pulling all that out, going through it, starting stuff up, spark plugs, air filters, fuel filters, all that fun stuff. Um, this is one of our new mowers that we just picked up today. Yeah. Uh, we picked up four new mowers today. So pretty exciting. We also picked up a hurricane stand on blower. So we're super excited about that. Um, I knew Rick back when he was just starting hurricane, uh, back Years and years ago, I worked for one of his buddies over in Muskegon. Oh, okay. And uh, I rode one of the first prototypes when he was showing it to his buddy. I had it out there the one day, so. Is that crazy? It was pretty cool. So it's, small world. Yeah, it's cool to see him come full circle and uh, saw that off the billy goat in, what, two, three, four years ago. Yep, yep. That's awesome, man. So we're, what did you guys just pick up from Mars? What do you got here? So, so what are you guys this rocking? This is a Toro, Z, uh, Toro 6000 Series Z Master. Okay. Uh, it's got the 27 horse Vanguard with the oil guard on it. Uh, so we're super excited about that because honestly, we've always struggled with getting maintenance done on time. <laughs> so the 500 hour oil change uh, intervals is going to be super nice. Cool. Um, and we've tried a lot of different brands over the years and Toro for us has probably been the best fit. So we're finally 95% Toro now. All right, cool. So, cool. 
And then, uh, let's see, so do you know the dimensions of this whole place? Because this is a big shop. Uh, this shop is 85 long and I think 40 wide -ish, Okay. give or take. Wow. So it's, uh, it's plenty big. Uh, unfortunately, here we have to keep everything inside. We're not allowed to have anything outside. Okay. So by the time you cram all four crews in here, plus, you know, the other odds and ends, it, it's tight. So with all the rigs come inside every night? Every, all the rigs come inside. Wow. And then we also have some overflow storage over down the street a little bit. Okay. So okay. some of the stuff that doesn't get used on a day to day are our backup trucks over there and uh, an equipment trailer and things like that. Are you able to get everything in here? Yeah. Yep. All, all the main crews fit in here. Wow. That's so awesome. It's uh, it's a little tight. But do, you, uh, uh, do you know how tall this is by chance? It's got to be 22, 24. I think it's 22. 22. Yeah. This is pretty, it's pretty high. So. I love the pallet racking. Yeah, we use the bucket trucks to change the light bulbs, so. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, for the Christmas lights? <laughs> yep. <laughs> hey, if I need a light bulb changed, yeah, yeah. I'm calling you, bro. Yep, we can do it. That's so funny. Uh, all right, so what do you got on this wall? A lot of uh, little so extras? This is just clutter. Clutter? Um, and we got a couple of spare tires. Uh, we built a little ramp for changing blades. Oh. Run the mowers right up on there. You can get underneath really easy. With Wait a the... minute, show me this. So what the heck is this? that You guys built this? So this is just a ramp uh, that we built just out of scrap wood. Uh, you can run the mower up there, and then half the deck hangs off. Zip those two blades off, switch to the other side, and change the other blade. I'll get you a Bally so, Super Jack. All right. That's my gift for you. I like it. There you go. All right. Cool. That's that's for being on the tour. All uh, right. <laughs> Billy Goat push blower that I had growing up and just kind of hangs out now and collects dust. Uh, we have a, a spare plow for our backup truck, which is going to be going to scrap probably next week. Uh, picked up a forklift uh, last year. No. Okay. You got to slow down right. here because this is building the dream. Building. This is building my dream. I I know it sounds weird, but when I build my shop, I want to buy a forklift. Yep. So what did you go with or what should we look out for? So <laughs> this was a buddy had it. Okay. And he has a, a lot of metal, a lot of heavy lifting. So he bought a new one and he's like, hey, you want my forklift? I'm like, yes, yes yeah. I do. Heck yeah. So uh, I don't know much about forklifts at okay. all. Um, <laughs> it works. It's, this is a Komatsu. It's got a million hours on it, but <laughs> it does what we need to do. It, you know, we use it mainly for moving Christmas lights around. Okay. And uh, for putting salters in and out of the truck. Yep. But it sits most of the year. Okay. I mean, a couple months in the fall, it gets used a lot. Yeah. And then the rest of the year, it, it sits. Well, hey, I mean, everybody wants a shop loader or shop machine, you know, or a forklift high low, yep. you know, to yep. uh, help with uh, getting things in and out. And like yep. you said, salters especially. And the original plan was to have a skid here to do the heavy lifting. Okay. Uh, just like a used beat up skid. It, but I got such a good deal on this. I just, I couldn't pass it up. No, hey, if you so. need to get rid of it, holler at your boy. Yeah. <laughs> I will. I will. All right. Uh, moving down, this is the John Deere I started the business with. Um, back when I restarted the business, the only one that wanted to finance me any money was John Deere. Okay. So we ended up getting two Deers. This is the one that's left. Um, and it's just a backup mower now. So it still runs. It's got about 2,500 hours on it. So it, uh, it, it, treated me well there you go there you go yeah so. uh, i was just saying uh, on a previous shop tour video um remember thasier yeah. uh down the road but they're i don't know if they're around anymore no no they got bought out by uh bader and sons bader and sons so that's the john bader and sons got bought out by hudson's oh okay so it's been a couple evolutions since uh since either yeah i was gonna say like now all you see in the area is x mark toro yep yeah because it used to yep. be a lot of deer a lot of deer not anymore that's right so that's right but they've been good mowers to us i mean i think the toros cut a little better okay but as far as like longevity and how they've held up yeah they've held up really well we also have an off-site uh account okay where we keep two john deere stand-ons oh okay so we have one large commercial site where we keep the equipment on site so are you uh selling them off or just collecting them or <laughs> uh these we're just keeping for backup okay uh the other two stand-ons have already been taken out to the site for the year okay uh we maintenance them last week and took them out last friday okay um uh, so those are just hanging out over there and then Bad purchase from last year was John Deere walk behind. We bought it, used it for two hours, and no one ever took it after that. <laughs> so I've got a essentially brand new John Deere walk behind. Look, uh, look for it for sale uh, on Marketplace soon. <laughs> All right. All right. So, well, e email uh, Holiday Lights if you want a, a John Deere walk behind. What, yep. what is it here? Just in case anybody does want it. Uh, it's a 52 inch John Deere hydro walk behind. Uh, okay. W52R. W52R? It's super dusty, but only has like two hours on it. Literally. Well, if anybody uh, wants to you know, claim it, uh, leave a comment down below. Yeah. All right, Definitely. well, I'm following you, brother. So uh, this is pretty cool, though. So you put all, all the rigs in here. Yeah, everything fits in here. It's that's, like catchers, but they all fit. That's insane. I'm like thinking, like, this is big, but, yeah. you know. Basically, are... it's three lawn crews across the front, unhook the dump trailer here, and then park the other truck in the, on the other side. Okay. So my truck's hooked up to one of the trailers right now, so that's normally gone. Okay. Uh, and the silver truck would be on one of the lawn trailers. Oh, okay, so, okay. I gotcha. Uh, that's still got the snow stuff on it, so yep. we're just kind of... Uh, Transition. 
Exactly. In the middle, we have our blade change station. Uh, got an Oregon blade grinder. Um, just blades, hitches, miscellaneous. Uh, keep all our oil, trimmer, uh, trimmer string all in the file cabinet. Um, toolbox, hand tools. So it's just all kind of stuff you need to keep a mo crew going. Yeah. Um, Who sharpens all the lawnmower blades? Uh, the foreman for each crew. Oh, okay. So they are responsible for their own blade and their own sharpening. Oh, okay. So we try to do it twice a week. Okay. So I know some guys say you have to do it every day, but we found twice a week for us work pretty well. Now, are you guys doing a full uh, four days? How's the Mo Cruise, the landscape? How's that all set up? Four full days and then like a half day on Friday. Okay, that's what we're doing. Yep. So, I mean, it gives us to clean up some of the stragglers and if we have any rain, we have, you know, time to get stuff done. Okay, cool. Perfect, man. Um, the wood rack kind of holds extra backpack blowers. Um, all our battery equipment sits on the middle shelf and then the top is just kind of a miscellaneous chainsaws, hedge trimmers, uh, you know, power tools, things like that. Okay. And then uh, you get your salt spreaders back here? Yep. So we have, uh, we've started pulling salters out. So we've got two of our salters here. Uh, the other two are still in trucks. Okay. Um, one is actually at the shop getting some warranty work done. And then the silver truck still has a salter in it as well. Oh, okay, cool. Um, and then you get those up there with the Hilo? Yeah. Wow. Yep. Yeah, no problem. Uh, the boss salters are super light too. So they go up nice and easy. Wow, that's awesome. Um, yeah, and on the floor uh, will be salters as well. And then we store some of our larger Christmas decorations on the bottom, on the floor. And then all our traffic cones for Christmas lights and things like that as well. Dude, that's awesome. So, I love the setup, man. I love how everything's towards the sides or off the, off the floor. Yeah. You know, everything's stacked up, put away, yes. and you're utilizing all this extra space. You, with the space we have, you have to. Yeah. I mean, we can't go out, so we have to go up. up. Yep. So. That's awesome, man. All right, so where are we going next? We'll go next door, check out the, uh, you can see the bucket trucks again. We got our dump truck over there and the skid steers over there. All that fun stuff. That's more like the hardscape That's landscaping. more the hardscape Christmas light side. All right, guys, so really quick here. I wanted to take a quick second and thank you for watching the Shop Tour series, but also thank you guys for all the support along the way on the YouTube channel, just in general. Uh, as you guys know, we've been running this playlist here for a couple of weeks now. We got five or six more weeks left. So right now, there's a lot of great stuff going on, as you guys can imagine, in the industry. A lot of things that are transpiring, a lot of people building a lot of shops, and it's really, really cool to see all the progress and all the growth that you guys have, including my friend Alex Grugan here with Faith Lawn and Property Services. So really quick, I wanted to take a second and just say a big shout out and thank you to the Equipment Defender folks. They are the uh, tour sponsor on this video. And if you guys need some good trailer racks, or you guys need to have some equipment racks, I really encourage you guys to check them out at equipmentdefender.com. The Brian Sten code does work there to help save you guys 10%. That being said, also big shout out and thank you to Steel, Cujo Yardware, and Yardbook for being sponsors on this tour as well. Guys, I really hope you're enjoying the shop tour here with Alex Grugan. We're gonna go check out the rest of that right here, right now. Let's check it out. So this is bay number two. This is, yeah, cold storage, um, Christmas lights and hardscape. So our, uh, our two bucket trucks are crammed in here. Um, we keep some of our pavers off here on the side from, uh, for warranty work. We have to warranty any of our paver jobs. We try to keep a little bit of everything, like a half pallet of, you know, what we've done for like the last two years. Okay. Um, so we got some of that spread on the side, snow blowers and shovels kind of stuffed in on the side there. So on this side, this is kind of just miscellaneous, whatever you need for a landscape job, hardscape job. Um, it's got steaks for burlap, barbecue for Fridays. Um, barbecue for Fridays. Barbecue for Fridays. What is that? What do you mean? Like uh, so, once a month on Fridays, we have food truck come for the guys. Um, so uh, we're gonna start with a, a pasty truck, and then we got hot dogs. Uh, there's a pizza guy coming this year. What? So yeah, we got all booked for the year on Fridays. Dude, uh, that's legit. Every yep. Friday or once, once a month? Once a month on Friday. Once a month Friday. So we'll, through the season, we'll have seven different vendors. Dude, that's um, legit. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, the rest of the season, they pull out the grill. They'll cook hot dogs, hamburgers. I don't know. I got really blessed with the group of guys we have. They like to hang out with each other. Yeah. So, I mean, they'll come back. They'll start grilling. They'll hang out out back for a couple hours after work. That's legit. So, it's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> that's good culture. So, um, I love it. Well, yeah. I mean, just all hardscape stuff. I mean, sprinkler pipe, geo grid, just all the good stuff. So, when you guys are saying you're growing and reinvesting, this is what you're talking about. Yeah. You're just pouring it all back in the business. All back in the business. 100%. You tell me some numbers, and I'm impressed, man. Like, it's it's, it's a work of it's like turned art. Turned into a monster. <laughs> the problem with a monster is you have to keep feeding it. That's right. That's that's so, a true one right there. I'll squeeze through here. Yep. Got our. Uh, this was my first big piece of equipment I purchased, if you will, for like landscaping. Okay. John Deere 3032E, I believe. Yep. Um, 
run a lot of mulch with this tractor. Um, it's done it really well. Before we started the hardscaping, we didn't have a need for anything bigger. Okay. Um, and then last year when we started the hardscape division, uh, we got the Kubota skid. Oh, okay. Um, so that was a cool addition last year. I'm following you. Let's go check so it out. We'll check You're building my dream out. with the tractor. Um, any any quick tips for tractor people? Uh, people looking for getting a tractor. You got to get a green one. Uh, get a John Deere. Get a John Deere. Why is that? I mean, I've had John Deere and Kubota, and I don't think you can go wrong with either of those. Okay. Um, some of the other brands that I've played with over the years, they just don't seem to operate as smooth. The controls kind of I felt are a little funky layout. Um, but the John Deere and the Kubotas, I've had really good luck with. Awesome, man. So, so. this this right here, uh, I'm just looking because I'm in the market, man. So. 3032E. Yep, this has been this has been a good one. There you so, go, man. That's, we got a couple hundred hours on it. That's beautiful. So, and you guys still take that out for mulch? We, it could use really heavily in the spring. Yes. So uh, when we're doing our mulch, I mean, it goes out every day pretty much. Yeah, yep. um, We do a lot of HOA mulch jobs where we're doing 100, 200 yards of mulch. Yep. And it's amazing what a tractor will do. Oh, 100%. So um, got the Kubota last year. It's an SLV 65. I originally didn't want one that was loaded up but with the equipment shortages, when I went and talked to Weingarts, I'm like, what can you get me? He's like, whatever comes in. I'll put your name on a list, and whatever comes in is what you get. Okay. And this came in, uh, my only thing I needed was, I had to have tracks. Okay. Um, this machine came in, it literally has like every feature on it known to man. <laughs> yeah. Um, I didn't even know some of these features were available on skid tier. So it's heat, air, high flow, low flow. I mean, it's, it's got everything on it. That is legit. That's a so sweet machine right it's, there. Uh, um, it's been really great. Um, my hardscape manager runs it all the time, and uh, it's been zero problems. There you go. So we put, I think, 600 hours on it last year. Holy and cow. Yeah. Wow. It's, uh, it's just zero issues. That's awesome. It just goes. That's awesome. So, And then behind you, we've got our dump truck. Okay. It's a Chevy 40, or I'm sorry, GMC 4500, uh, 2004. Uh, I bought it uh, when I got into hardscape last year. Um, it's been a good truck. Again, yep. there's very few issues with it. It does what we need it to do. Uh, most of our bigger deliveries, we have Stone Depot deliver for us. Okay. Um, but, you know, if you need a couple yards here or there or need something to haul off site, it works great. Man, that's awesome. Now, do you need a CDL for this? No, this is under CDL. Oh, okay. Yep. That's legit, man. So, this is all packed in here, too. You guys are out this growing. Is, this is, like I said, cold storage. So, we just pack it in. Throw it in. I mean, the other side is more... When everything's in there, you can still walk around in there. Sure. Uh, this side, no. Okay. It's just storage. And then this, we got a, a quick tour of this last year. Yeah. Uh, this was all the Christmas lights. So this is what it looks like when it all comes back. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. So everything back now, all the bins are in, they're all labeled, they're all tucked in tight. And then top, as you can see, we got all our greenery up top there. Yeah. I think we got 40 or 50 reeds up there now. Wow. <laughs> so they're all crammed in and Hanging out till next year. So are they all inventoried and like addressed? Yes, everything's everything has a tag on it. Tag has the customer's name and address on it. Wow. So when we go to start pulling stuff out, it all gets laid out, it all gets dusted off, all the lights get checked, all the bulbs get um, kind of cleaned up a little bit. Yeah. Then they go out. All right, man, so we are outdoors, a little uh, transition. Right. And so this is all the outdoor equipment. This is all the outdoor stuff. This first rig here is our landscape maintenance okay. crew. So. Uh, Eric does everything. He'll do the mulch, the hedge trimming, uh, flower planting, um, weeding, just all the, the landscape maintenance. Okay. Um, he'll plant trees here and there, you know, a little thing, replace a dead bush, that kind of stuff. Okay. So this is his rig. He's got a, a 7x14 sure track. Uh, thank you, Kelly and Son Trailers. Yeah. Um, you know, they, Sue. I know Sue. Yep. I get most of my trailers from them. Yep. Um, and then he's got, this is actually not the truck he normally has. That's the one that's in getting some warranty work done. Okay. Uh, so for now, we're just using our ladder truck. Okay. Um, but uh, so that's that's the landscape maintenance crew. All right. Um, he'll normally take just his normal wheelbarrow, shovels, rakes, and that kind of stuff with him. And we'll go over to the mow crews. So I'm I'm very ram heavy, uh, as you as you've probably seen. But uh, one of our Chevys is a 2015 Chevy 2500 crew cab long bed okay uh this will be a three-man crew uh they will have uh two zero turns and a stand on on their crew uh they handle most of our larger commercial sites um the next crew will actually be the 2018 ram that's inside uh will be that truck and it has a 18 foot sure track trailer uh with two stand ons and a zero turn They'll handle, they'll also help with HOAs and then get into our larger uh, groupings. Okay. We have a lot of subdivisions where we have 25, 30 houses in one neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And so they'll handle um, those HOAs with the houses inside them. Okay. 
And then the, the last screw is the 2016 uh, Ram regular cab, uh, short track trailer again, uh, with two Toro grandstands. Uh, and they do all our kind of out stuff. If it's not in South Lion or Brighton, uh, they kind of do all the um, outliers, if uh, you will. Okay. So, uh, and that's just a two-man crew. So two three-mans and a two-man. Okay, cool. How many guys do you have working for you right now? Uh, so uh, between 12 and 15. Okay. So between all five crews. And they, they all show up here, by the way? Yep, everybody comes here. And where's employee parking? Uh, out back. Oh, okay, cool. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, that's a real logistical yeah, thing. That it you, is. You, it you really gotta, is. You got to put the car somewhere, and especially if you're renting space, like you don't want to um, yeah. get in trouble it, with the landlord. It gets tight. It gets tight. <laughs> we, make it, we make it work. There you go. Musical chairs, right? So we can go check out mowers. All right, cool. All the, all the red. So are you guys doing more residential these days, more commercial, a little bit of both? So this is actually our first year back in residential. Oh. Um, I went... 100% commercial two years ago. Okay. And we were pretty much all HOAs and commercial properties. And I had a couple of friends that got out of the business and um, had some large groupings of residentials. And I wanted to be more diversified. Um, I felt like I've had all my eggs in the commercial basket, which is fine. Um, but I just wanted to be a little more diversified again. Yeah. And so far it's, it's working out well. We picked up tons of mulch so far from that uh, and spring cleanups and, and we're already rolling and it's still in march yeah. so we're we're very thankful and blessed that we're rocking and rolling hey great cash flow with residential yeah that's what i've heard that's so, <laughs> and the credit card bound file is really nice i'm, I'm telling you bro so there you go uh, but hey by the way a couple years ago when i was considering yard book yeah uh, Al, uh uh jonathan with florida turf pros turned me on to it yep. and then you said i use yard book too we use yard books do you guys still use yard book for now for now okay so My... we're, we're in the process of switching okay um i don't think the switch will be complete until winter okay um just we're way too busy and where are you guys going what what company or crm we're going to uh service autopilot okay sap yep fantastic yep. but but you told me you'll you can take your business to a half a million brian with yard book easily easily i mean we're over a million and it handles it, not a problem. All right, so there's my endorsement for Yardbook. There you go. All right, well, they're one of the tour sponsors. All right, sweet. Well, there you go. Uh, all right, so what else uh, we got for the mowers then? You got, um, this so is one of the crews. This is set up right now for spring cleanups. Okay. Um, we got our, our one of our other John Deere's uh, with the bagging system and uh, uh, Toro Z Master 6000 series with the triple bagger. Okay. So right, right now it's all set up for, for cleanups, but normally it'll be uh, two riders and a stand on during the normal mowing season and the uh, the Billy Goat blower. Oh, okay. So that'll be on this screw. They handle the, our large HOAs. Okay. Um, and these are a bulk of the new Toros. Uh, you saw the, the one inside, uh, but we also got two more new grandstands and uh, another Z6000. Well, here, look at it, man. Check them out. That's that's some fresh red paint. Very you literally picked these up like two days ago. You're like, hey, 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 don't come yet. I picked the last load up this morning. <laughs> Is so. that right? Well, you knew I was coming for the tour, yep. and you said, hey, let's do it next week. I got some new uh, got, surprises coming. I got, I got some new toys. There you go, man. So we're uh, we're excited. So um, how do you uh, your guys like the the Toros? Are these the multi-force or just the stand on? These are just the regular, uh, regular uh, grandstands. Grand okay, cool. Um, the plan is when we replace uh, one of those grandstands in the fall, we're gonna get a multi-force okay. with the plow and the mulch, okay. uh, mulch okay. bucket. Yep. So that's that's kind of the plan. That's awesome, man. And uh, wh what do you what do you like about Toro specifically? Uh, the cut quality. Cut quality has been really good. They've been extremely reliable. We have very very few issues. Cool. Um, and our dealers, it's a family owned dealer, Mark. smaller marks. Yep. And my mark's been great. Yep. I've known Mark since I was a kid. So. Okay. Um, so yeah, we've been running Toro for a long time. Dude, I love it, man. And uh, this is as clean as they're ever going to look. This is as clean as they're ever going to look. <laughs> I was actually a little sad when I was driving them through the dirt parking lot, and they were already <laughs> getting getting dusty. Getting dusty. But uh, I'm excited about them. All right, so here's the million-dollar question everybody's got. Do you power wash all your stuff regularly? No. I, <laughs> see? No. Okay. It's like everybody busts my balls, dude, about <laughs> not keeping my equipment clean. So, like, I get accused of, like, being an actor and just filming YouTube videos all day. And then, because our, then our stuff is too clean or it's too dirty. Yep. And your stuff, it's all filthy. Oh, look at these machines. I mean, they're... I say, that been, with, I say that with love. They're not working. I mean, they're, they're dirty. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have water here either. So it makes it hard. See, folks, it's, it's, I don't know if it's a Michigan thing. <laughs> we don't wash our equipment, okay? No. There's no point. Two minutes from now, it's going to be sleeting rain. Yep. And it's all going to be dirty yep. again. We got too many dirt roads and it's just, I don't know. See? Not See? Good. People keep giving me crap. It's either too clean and we're fake or it's too dirty. <laughs> 
and we're cheap. And I'm like, we don't have access to water to, to spray it all down either. Nope. But one day the dream is to get the shop with the uh, the wash bay. That'll be nice. That's that's our goal too. My stuff gets washed once or twice a year. You know where and how and why, right? Yeah. When I take it to Wine Guards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was true. I always tell Brad, hey, here's 20 bucks. Wash the mower. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you, Brad. All right. Sorry about that. I just had to throw it in there because uh, everybody always says, why is your stuff so clean or so dirty? Yeah. There's never a happy medium. No, there isn't. There you go. It's unfortunate, but all right. So yep. Uh, so we got landscape setup, HOA commercial setup, yep. HOA commercial setup, yep. and then this is the residential crew. Yep. All much. right. Cool, man. And then also not here is our hardscape trailer. We have a seven by sixteen enclosed trailer. Okay. That we keep all our hardscape tools, our saws, compactors, um, specialty tools. That's all in that trailer. Um, so that's already out on a job site. Um, and that's pretty much it. All right, man. So, well, uh, we'll bond it up right here, brother. Where, uh, where can people find you, man? Uh, we're just on Facebook. So you can, you can check us there. Faith Lawn Property Maintenance. Faith Lawn Property in, uh, South Lyon, Brighton, Michigan. Yep. Well, uh, definitely hope you guys have a good spring and, uh, we'll be seeing you guys on the highways and byways. Sounds good. Thank you. All right.